Uh, here we are in a, or here I am, in a uh, gallery, and it's certainly different seeing my work here in the gallery compared to a, uh, my studio. As you can see, the walls are nice and clean and uh, things are quiet. And I'm going to now, I'm not going to be manipulating anymore, so I have to think of it as not the artist, but the viewer. And so, if I'm thinking of myself as the viewer, I want to convey what, how did this all come about? The questions are, what is going on here? And so my answers are, is that I think there's three components. The, the head, the heart, and the hand. Those are the three components, I think, that go into a piece of artwork. And I'll start with the head. The, uh, I don't know why, but my uh, passion is to, to work all the t as much as I can. It's like a gun to my head. I just have to do it. So whether that's real head work or not, that's, I can consciously say that. And then other things that are conscious is that I visit abandoned buildings and derelict objects. I, I'm absolutely fascinated with old rusty machinery. And so I look at them, I visit the interior of these buildings, and I take images and bring them into the studio via the camera. So there, it's all still very conscious. I know sort of what I'm looking for. And then I decide formally what the colors, what the palette's going to be, what the... Um, um, materials, whether I'm going to use paint or tar or plaster, whatever, I have to make a conscious decision, and the size, the dimension. So all those are the conscious co components that come, I guess, from the head uh, into the first part of uh, making a painting. And so the next component is the heart. Now, the heart component I think of the spirit and the spunk of those particular pieces of work. And where does that come from? And so when you're in the studio, you have this image through the sketches and your photographs. So what is it that makes it go beyond? You've decided all your, your, um, you know, your palette and things like that. So what is it? So it's the interaction now of all those materials going in with your image. And I think of it, or I compare it to jazz. In fact, I have a lot of jazz playing while I'm working. And I think of the jazz musician who takes a simple melody and he abstracts it. And in fact, Louis Armstrong's very simple melody, five foot two. If you hear that and hear how he improvises, it becomes into a, a complete abstraction. And so I identify the work in that way. And so that's how I think of the um, passion or the spirit and the spunk comes through that. And so now we'll go on to the uh, third component, which is the hand. Now the hand component is the, the third component that I've described as the actual manipulation of fluid turning into something solid. This was hot wax uh, that's put on a board. Uh, this was uh, like foil, the lead is wrapped. So you, you're manipulating, you're forming things, particularly when you talk about the hot wax, is that it was a fluid and you're turning it into some sort of solid image. So the hands and the, the passion to manipulate whatever it is, collecting rust, screwing it onto the board, those things make the total uh, result. That's what you see. And so there's surface, you want to touch it, but hopefully there's some sort of substance behind all this. And so when I finish a piece of work or at, for this to do, um, uh, put a collection together, what I see is a search. It's a search more than anything and more questions than answers.
she's old. The ladies in her art group. 